How to create an iOS style large title navigation bar or a simple Cupertino navigation bar in Flutter. The Cupertino navigation bar consists of three parts. In the middle is the navigation bar title. The left leading portion is generally used for displaying a back button. However, there you could also display any other action buttons. Lastly, the right trailing portion is used for one or multiple action buttons such as add, edit or done. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with the build method. Here we want to create a Cupertino page scaffold which creates the structure of a Cupertino or iOS styled screen. And inside of it we create then our Cupertino navigation bar and we also supply then a text inside of the middle property. And with this we have a simple navigation bar. Next, inside of the trailing property you can then create your action, therefore I create here a Cupertino button with the text done. If you hot reload, the button is not displayed correctly and this is because this Cupertino button has some padding by default and we simply want to deactivate it and set it to zero so that this button is now displayed correctly. Under your navigation bar you normally want to display some content which you do here inside of the child property. And here if you simply place a simple text inside then you see that our text is somehow cutted away. To fix this is pretty simple, simply wrap around your text or any other widget that you have placed here inside a safe area widget. And with this the text is now displayed correctly under our navigation bar. And of course optionally you can then also add here some container around so that you can include some padding around your text. Next we want to add the left leading portion of our navigation bar. Therefore you go to your Cupertino navigation bar and here you can then set the property previous page title where you put then some name inside. And to make this work you also need to have a previous page inside of your stack. Therefore simply let's add here another page in front and inside of this page I create a simple Cupertino button where we navigate then here to our main page. Let's also try it out. I click on this button and now you see we have here this leading property with a back button and the text explorer. And this is exactly the text that we have put here inside of this property. Next we want to create a collapsible large title iOS navigation bar where the large screen title transitions to the navigation bar. Therefore let's get started again within the Cupertino page scaffold and here around we want to wrap then our nested scroll view. And inside of this nested scroll view you have this header sliver builder where we create then this time a Cupertino sliver navigation bar. And inside of it you have then the large title property where we set the text explorer inside. And with this we have here this large title navigation bar which is transitioned to our normal navigation bar. If you like you can also put here next to the large title all the other properties inside from the normal navigation bar. So we put here a trailing icon inside or you can also add here a leading icon which is in this case a Cupertino button with this Cupertino icons add. And with this we have here on top our normal navigation bar and the large title is still transitioning then to this navigation bar. And lastly, if you have this large title, you might also put here some less padding to the left and to the right side. And therefore you can simply go here inside and then you create here this padding and set it to zero because initially it is set to 16 pixels on both sides. And with this we have here less space to the left and to the right side next to our icons. Let's also change the background color of our navigation bar and also the foreground color of our icons. Right now as you notice our navigation bar color is here grayish and our content below has a white color. Let's also switch quickly to the dark mode, therefore I set here the Cupertino theme data with the brightness to dark. And here you also see that our navigation bar color is a bit different than our body color. To change the background color of your navigation bar simply go to the Cupertino theme data and here you have this bar background color property where I set the color now to black. And with this the background color of our navigation bar and of our content is the same. Let's also switch here to the light theme again. And as you can see we also have here the black color in our light theme. However normally what you want to have is here a different color for your light theme and for your dark theme. And therefore you can simply use here this Cupertino dynamic color where you can then choose the color for your light and dark theme. 
And with this, our navigation bar has now the same white color as our content. Next, with the help of the primary color property, you can also change then the color of your icons. So now the icon color changed to a red color, which we have here defined within our primary color. And again, like before, you can use the Cupertino dynamic color to change then the primary color inside of the light theme and dark theme. And with this, our icons are now green inside of the dark theme. And this is exactly what I have defined here within the dark color. And by the way, if you want to get here the whole source code of this example, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.